Hey everybody, uh, before we get started here, just a quick introduction. Uh, you're about to watch my no-budget exploitation horror movie, Enjoy. Uh, this is a little movie I made a few years ago. Um, I wanted to see if I could make a halfway decent horror movie with no money. <laughs> that was literally my mental state at the time. I thought, okay, I have no money, I have no experience, I have basic equipment, my friends and I are not actors. Let's make a movie. Because <laughs> um, as you can see from my channel, I love horror movies. I love grindhouse movies. And I wanted to try and make some of my own. Um, I'm very proud of the products that we made. Um, I, I wrote the movie. I directed the movie. I edited the movie. I filmed the movie. And I do have a part in the movie. I wasn't originally supposed to appear in the movie, but one thing led to another and I had to take a part. But anyway, um, I, I was very proud with the movie that I had made here. Um, this I had uploaded this movie on my old channel, and as you would guess, when my old channel was hacked, it got deleted with a bunch of my other videos. Um, I had done everything I could to try to save it, but I just couldn't get it offline. And uh, the only other copy I had of Enjoy was on my old computer, which was broken. That was the biggest kick in the nuts for me when, uh, when that whole thing happened, and I thought I was never going to see this movie again. Uh, that is until a few days ago, uh, when my friend Emily found a copy of it on an old DVD. I had completely forgotten about that. I forgot that I had put one copy on a DVD. Uh, she gave it back to me and I was so ecstatic because now I can share this movie with people again. Um, the version you're going to see is not the same version that was uploaded on my old channel. And that's because this version had a few little issues that I needed to fix before I uploaded it. Um, you're gonna notice a couple of typos in the opening credits, there's one point where I wrote bye twice, so you're gonna see like, it's like edited bye bye Justin. Um, and uh, Carmen, uh, who plays the main villain in this movie, or one of the main villains, um, I accidentally put an extra E in her name, so it says Carmen, so you're gonna notice that. Uh, there were also a couple of moments where the music almost drowns out the dialogue. You can still hear what people are saying, but it was, it needed, the music needed to be softened, and I had fixed that in the version that was on my old channel, but I don't have that anymore. Uh, but I'm still, I'm just grateful to have this movie back now. I am so happy that I can put it up again and people can watch it again. I've got multiple co copies of it right now, just because I'm very paranoid. Um, but, I want, as soon as I found it again, I wanted to re-upload it as a way of thanking everybody for the support on this channel. You know, I, I want to thank my old subscribers who have come to this new channel, all the new subscribers who continue watching my stuff. Um, of, of course, a huge thank you to Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers, because if it were not for him, this channel would not be as successful as it is. Um, and I will always be grateful for that. And of course, I want to thank everybody who helped me make this movie. Um, you're gonna see all their names in the credits, even though Carmen says Caramon, but you know, you get the idea. Every name you see in the opening credits and the ending credits, those people are the reason that this movie was made, because of the hard work they put in in helping me make this movie. And uh, that's that goes especially to my friend Emily. Uh, not just for finding a copy of it after all this time, but she also plays one of the main characters in this movie. She took a huge part in this movie, and if it were not for her, this movie would not exist. I mean, if she didn't agree to help me out with this, there, I don't think this movie would actually exist. So a huge thank you to her, and, um, and again, a huge thank you to everybody else. So you're going to be watching this um, little horror movie I made about snuff films. <laughs> so get ready for that. So just, um, again, thank you all, and I hope you enjoy this movie. Uh, grab yourself a big old buttery tub of popcorn and uh, watch this disturbing piece of schlock that I am very happy to have made.
Forgive me, Father. For I'm about to sin. Black Belt Preacher, a man of God with a mean streak. He battles sin one fist at a time. Trust me, kid, this stuff will make you a man. I'm divine intervention, bitch. A town gripped in fear. A deranged drug lord high on power. Only one thing stands in his way. Black Belt Preacher. You're trying to tell me my deal got fucked because of some fucking Bruce Lee holy man? I want you to spread the word. Whoever brings me that priest severed nuts will get enough devil dust to rival Columbia. See the kung fu action as the preacher goes up against his greatest adversary. When the bad guys got you down, turn to the Vatican's dirty secret. You got a pretty price on your head, preacher man. I'm gonna shove my God-fearing foot up your ass. I swear to kick ass in the name of the Father. The Son. In the Holy Ghost. Black Belt Preacher. Rated R. This film does not yet exist. Make it!
beautiful. for it was so big. coming over tonight? Got to work on my portfolio a little bit, but now I'll make it. <laughs> okay, because I told Lacey you were coming over, so we will get some privacy tonight. Surprised you can still look in the eye after walking in on us last time. Yeah, well, that kind of was my fault. I should have hung the briar on the doorknob. Well, she brought you in on this this time. She asked if she wants to join in. <laughs> oh. You don't want to ride with me? No, that's okay. Um, you go ahead and work on your portfolio and I'll see you later.
come help me with these? Oh, yeah, hi. Let me get one of those. Thanks. I'm not sure if you're trying to get a hold of me. I uh, left my phone upstairs. No, thank you so much, though, for getting the groceries. I know it was my turn, but don't worry about it. You were busy with your little necromodeling gig anyway. Yeah, well, way to make it sound creepy. <laughs> yeah, nothing creepy about doing sexy poses amongst a bunch of dead people. <laughs> Seriously, though, how did it go? Yeah, it was... It was different. Um, Adam's so weird in graveyards. He's got this whole show respect for the dead thing. I mean, you've seen it, right? Yeah, I think that's sweet. Yeah, it is contagious, though. Now he's got me doing it. Really? Yeah. Um, it was really peaceful in the graveyard. It was like, for the first time in a long time, I could really clear all the bullshit out of my head. Well, maybe you should grave model more often. Hey, are these the pictures? No, put that down. Oh, come on. Let me see it. I bet you look great. No, these aren't the pictures. I don't know what it is yet. Oh, you asshole! Who are you? I'm just a simple businessman. You're Adam, right? Adam Francis? How do you know my name? You left your wallet in the car during your little photo shoot in the cemetery. Trusting soul, aren't you? Not a very good quality. Any sticky-fingered prick could break into your car. Take your license and find out everything about you. Now listen up, Adam. I'm gonna need your cooperation. Do what I say, answer my questions. No one has to get hurt. Nod your head if you agree. 
shake your head if you want to die. Very good. Now, who is that hot little number with you in the cemetery? So let me get this straight. You found this unmarked DVD in a graveyard and you just decided to take it? Well, who leaves a DVD in a cemetery anyway? Psychopaths, that's who. So why did you take it? I don't know, just curious, I guess. I don't know. I don't think we should watch it. Come on. Where's your sense of adventure? It's buried six feet under with the guys you modeled with today. Megan, please don't. Relax. It's just a movie. Well, what harm could be done from watching a movie? Sexy. <laughs> down that road there, number 52. Now, I've already scoped the place out, so we should be able to sneak in just fine. Just get in. Don't do anything yet. You'll know what to do when the time comes. This wasn't real. This couldn't have been real. 
looked pretty real to me. So what do we do with it? I don't know. What, do you think the cops would even believe us if we called them? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is a snuff film, right? Things like this aren't supposed to exist. I know. Where's my phone? We need to call the cops. You have something that belongs to me. Who is this? No questions. You have my disc. You are not meant to take it. I will give you one shot to save yourselves. Look out the window. Don't cooperate with us, he's dead. Just do as we say, and no one has to get hurt. Put the disc on the front step and walk away. No cops, no attempts to call for help. Just give us back the disc, or we'll kill Adam. You've got two minutes. Move fast. You're not actually thinking of giving it back to those fucks, are you? <laughs> what do you want me to do? They've got Adam. I know, but... Megan, wait. Don't you realize what's happening here? These people are murderers. We just saw them bash some guy's brain in our own TV screen. Do you really want to let them get away with that? Well, we can't just not give it back to them. They've got Adam. I mean, they're going to kill him. What do you think they're going to do to us if we don't give it back? I know, I know, but... Do you really want to let them just do that to somebody else? Well, we don't have time for this. We have two minutes. Just like two minutes. Give me a second. Just put it on the steps. They'll never know the difference. This way we have some evidence for the cops later. Okay.
You better hope that tasty bitch yours brings the disc back. Because if she doesn't, we're gonna fuck her in ways she ain't ever gonna recover from. <laughs> Get it? Right here. Good, let's call the mistress and get out of here. Hold on one second, pal. Just gotta check something out. Hey, you know, I just don't understand Good Samaritans. I don't. I mean, I understand that the thought of being a hero is appealing. But in the grand scheme of things, all you're really doing is pissing off the wrong people. Your girlfriend must think she's pretty clever. You'd think she's the first person to try and screw us over. So what do you think this is, hmm? Family vacation? One of your drunk get-togethers? Maybe it's one of your homemade pornos. She does seem like the frisky type. I'll make sure we enjoy this later. Stand them up. Right here. We'll worry about that later. Well, no, we won't. Because as soon as Adam comes through that door, I want the cops on the phone and on their way here. God, I hope that's Adam. happened. be wiping your blood from her hands by the end of the night. The basement door! <laughs>
Do you see them out there? No. Are you gonna be okay? Oh, you should have let. Hey, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> you should have let me give him that disc. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about Adam. Okay, but we can't freak out just yet. Look, you can hate me later, but we right now we just have to make it through this. Can you keep it together? <laughs> okay. Did you find your phone? No, I can't find it. Okay, well, it couldn't have just disappeared. Well, I can't find it anywhere. All right. Well, I'm going to go upstairs and get my phone. You take this. You wait for me here. And make sure all the windows are locked. Scare them good? Yeah, don't worry. They've got themselves locked up tight. They won't be brave enough to come out now. <sighs> now what? Well now, my friend, we just let our leading lady do what she does best. Just sit back and enjoy the show. I know you're watching. I hope you get a good look.
Oh good, you're a witch. Don't, don't bother screaming. Don't bother screaming. Keep your mouth shut. We'll sew your lips shut. You should have blinded your own business, little lady. You're not the first person to let their curiosity get the better of them. But hey, we gave you a chance, and you blew it. Well, maybe if you didn't get your kicks off by filming murders, this wouldn't happen. Oh, trust me. We do have fun with this job. But the kicks aren't for us. See, snuff films have always been an urban legend. No one's ever been able to successfully sell murder on film. Because that's what people believe. You see, distributing real murder on film isn't easy. You have to think outside the box. You have to have the brains, the drive, the dedication. But thanks to the glory of the internet, it made our job a lot easier. See, I knew where to hide my work. The right people to talk to, the right connections to make. We managed to keep just out of view, hidden beneath the porn sites. You know, the more extreme stuff, it allows for those ashamed of their appetites to find us. And there are a lot more than you would believe. We've got people all over the world Crime families and drug lords, they can't resist a good product. They help us find genuine customers, allow them to come to our websites. And if they're interested, they get in touch with us. As soon as we're sure, without a shadow of a doubt, that they're serious, we get to talking. We get to know them. Try to find out exactly what they're looking for. Their likes and dislikes, their tastes. Once we get a general idea of what they want, we do the auditions and make the film. And then, we give them a location to pick up the package. We always make sure the right person gets the movie. Sometimes one of my fellow employees waits around. Sometimes I take pleasure in sticking around Make sure that the right customer picks up the film. But every now and again, someone lets their curiosity get the better of them. We always give them a chance to change their minds, give us back the product. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And this is the case when they don't. Sorry about your boyfriend. And your lady pal, too. It was nothing personal. But you have to understand, this is my life. My passion. It's like bleeding me. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let somebody prevent me from taking my next breath. Huh? <laughs>